scriptures within your walk you know never to be prideful because we're in these fleshly bodies man you know these 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 bodies that we have for our spirit is vulnerable it's weak it can be um like it can be easily cut and bruised because this body is made of is made out of elements okay it's made out of elements it's a it's a it's a uh, impressive body, you know. It can heal itself. It can do whatever it can to do to survive. But what? It's made of elements, and it can be destroyed by other elements, you know. And that's been, you know, circling my mind lately. How vulnerable these bodies are. How weak they are, you know. That's why we must remain in humility because this is the year of judgment, you know. Lately, I've been uh, at work. I've been hearing people's family, mem uh, like family members dying, you know, lately. You know, a co-worker just lost his father and another co-worker just, um, like just lost his brother, man. You know, like judgment is going out every single day. But for some reason this year, you know, this year is going to get worse, okay? A lot more people are about to die because the Lord, he's about to start in his house first, according to 1 Peter chapter 4, verse 17. Humility is a huge thing within this walk. Humility and applying scriptures, you know? Because a part of being honored at the end is to be in a process of humility. And humility goes into humiliation. The Lord is humbling us, you know. This, this is the most humble to walk that any man can uh, go through. And not a lot of people can make this walk. Because it's a walk, you're going to become a minimalist. You, you're going to be in a house of sorrows for the longest. You know, you're going to go through so much trials and tribulations. You're going to go through nights without sleeping. You know, you're going to lose a lot of friends and family. You're going to lose a lot of things in this life to gain a hundredfold at the end. 
So remember that you're that you are, you know, in this in this fleshly body, and the Lord who controls all things. He can either make you or break you. And I was thinking today, I was like, wow, you know, if you're in righteousness, you're going to get an ass whooping. If you're in wickedness, you're going to perish. So there's nowhere you can run. You can't run to safety anywhere. The only person that can give you safety is the one who's doing the killing, who's doing the you know, like uh, like Deuteronomy 32, 39, man. I kill not make alive. I wound and I heal. You know? Hebrews 10 and 31. It is a fearful thing to fall in the hands of the living power. The living God, man. You know? You can't escape from the Lord's judgment. You can't escape from the Lord's hand. He governs the world in the palm of his hand. There's nowhere you can run. The only person that can give you salvation... It's him. Yahweh Bashmi Al Shai. No one can give you salvation except through Yahweh Shai, you know, and the Heavenly Father who sent his son for like for the nation of Israel. So remember to remain in humility. I'm gonna read the precept again and then, then we're gonna grab another precept. First Peter chapter five, verse six. Humble yourselves, therefore, under the mighty hand of the Most High, that He may exalt you in due time. All right. So humble yourselves. The Lord's giving you a chance to humble yourself, or He will humble you. And you do not want to get to the point where the Lord humbles you. You don't want the Lord to humble you. You want to humble yourself by applying scriptures. You want to humble yourself so you won't be judged. Humble yourself and remain in humility. We we used to be in the valley of dry bones. And the Lord called us. For many are called, but few are chosen. And the Lord is only going to choose a few. The Lord's will that you're a part of that number, including myself. That's why it's called the hopeful elect. We say the hopeful elect because we hope. We are prisoners of hope. Ye that fear the Lord, hope for good. This is a you know, this is a very humbling walk. And it can be lonely. But what? The Lord is with us. He is with us, you know. First Peter chapter five verse six, humble yourselves, therefore under the mighty hand of the most high, that he may exalt you in due time. Casting all your care upon him, for he cares for you. He cares about you. He cares about what you've been through each and every single day. That's why it's good to talk to him. You know, it's good to talk to the Lord. It's good to let the Lord know what you've been through. So he, so he can find a solution for you. He already know what you're about to say through prayer. You know, and he's uh, he's listening. You know, so let's grab another precept real quick. Let me get uh Proverbs fifteen thirty three. the book of Proverbs chapter 15 verse 33 the fear of the Lord is an instruction of wisdom and before honor is humility okay before you be honored you gotta go through humility the humiliation the, the humiliation process is not for the weak it's not for weak people man and that's why we must pray for strength to endure all the afflictions that the Lord has set upon your walk and every single individual's walk. Brothers, even sisters, 
who cleave on to the men of the Lord, who listen to the men of the Lord. You know? The Lord will honor you. Imagine, you know, imagine there's a planet waiting for you, uh, a galaxy waiting for you, if you can handle the humiliation, you know? If you can handle all the trials and tribulations, the the deprivation of certain necessities that's been taken away from you, you know? And you feel like, you know, and you feel like, man, like, like this hurts. This hurts a lot, and it does hurt. And being in the furnace of affliction, it hurts. But what? You know, it's for your good. And the Lord sees and the Lord sees that it's good for you. He's gonna put you through it because he knows that you're capable of it. You know? So don't doubt. You know, our forefathers have been through these processes as well in the uh, in the past. In the past, uh um in uh, in the, uh like in the days of old, our forefathers been through a lot. And the number one person I've been through a lot, you already know, Yahweh Shai. He's been through a lot. He's been through so much. N knowing what he had to do before, before it even happened. You know, that's a lot. That's a lot to take in, man. Knowing what's about to happen to you. And the Lord did that for us, man. The Lord, he did what he did with true sincerity to be our mediator today, man. You know? We can't do this without you. How shy, man? We sick, bro. We, we, we are sick people. And we deserve to be in humility, to humble ourselves, man. If you ain't humble, man, the Lord ain't gonna deal with you. You know? The Lord's not going to deal with you if you're prideful, man. Remain in humility at all times, man. Because the Lord can take away the Holy Spirit from you. Remember to remain in humility. Stay humbled. A lot of judgment is about to come out very soon. Remain in humility. Alright? I hope this class was edifying to the elect. Kahallah, Yahweh, Bashimi al Shah, Bashimi Kakadash. If this was edifying to you, it's edifying to the elect. Tonight's time I say, Shalom.